Hi, Box Modders. Uh, today I want to give you a little rundown of this guy, the uh, MM456B 40-watt uh, board. Notice I didn't do finger quotes, and I'll show you why soon. Uh, it's uh, in, in an iStick board format. Uh, can you fit this into an iStick? I, I don't know, like I would ever own an iStick. Um, <clears throat> it, Rick Grove sent me this. He's the, the modmaker.co.uk dude. And um, he wanted me to check it out. Uh, he has these on his site for uh, 19 99 That's in uh, pounds. Uh, that comes out to be more th than that in dollars. Um, you can figure that out on your own. I really don't care. Uh, so if you want to buy it, that's the place to. Uh, there's no American suppliers that I know of, and uh, you can't get these from, like, Fast Tech yet, though it would be kind of nice if you could. Um, so anyway, uh, let me, let's me let just turn it off first. Bye-bye. We'll go right to the beginning. Okay, five click on. One, two, three, four, five. Um, single or parallel operation. Uh, it's It has a high volt cutoff at five volts, supposedly. I haven't... I haven't tested that. We may, uh, I may play around with that, with the power supply uh, later. So, turn it on five clicks. Um, it's variable voltage and a variable wattage. Uh, in the variable voltage mode is uh, three clicks to get into. So one, two, three, and it goes to variable voltage. We can go from two volts up to wherever uh, 40 watts is, is where its cutoff is for you. So, and, um, and it actually reads, it reads that resistance in real time. And you can see that uh, on the scope. If you, if you keep looking at the scope, uh, once I, um, once I turn this back on, you can see it uh, popping every once in a while there. Now I should be able to turn this thing up to whatever its programmed maximum is. 8.5 volts uh, supposedly is where it uh, and it does a check atomizer uh, a la DNA boards because um, that's uh, that's all we got. Okay, so let's put on put 1.2 or 1.33 as it reads um, and it drops it automatically to whatever its maximum wattage is so that's pretty cool I think that's I think that's pretty great and it'll fire and notice on the scope we have a little wavy thing at the top and our VRMS is about 7.3 volts um, which is just above the, the, the set point and that's the theme with this one is its uh, its actual output is juice up. Uh, its actual output is a little high. Um, and you're going to see that over and over in this uh, in this video. Okay. So how's that? Like it matters to you. Okay. So that's and that's it in boost mode. It it, it does a little wavy wavy thing up top. Um, and it'll do 40 volts, I mean, <laughs> 40 volts, no, it won't, it'll do 40 watts, uh, in boost mode, not too many issues, um, with, and these are, these are obviously 25 hours, it'll do it with one battery, um, 7.33, just like we saw before, uh, obviously the 25 hours are, are pretty solid, minkies, um, Mostly discharged Minkies at that. Uh, can we get the same thing? Notice it remembers the settings. It remembered. It remembered everything. So we hit it. Whoop, check battery. Uh, it didn't do what I wanted it to do. I may have to be in wattage mode for this. One, two, three. Oh, come on. There you go. Wattage. Um, let's set this thing all the way to forty. Let's see if it does it. Nope. It's not going to do it for me. So what it what it'll do is um, let me see if I can I might be able to make it do it. Uh, 
hook my power supply up as a charging source and uh, talk about that another day. So anyway, um, let's see. That'll do it. Nope. So anyway, what I'm trying to get it to do is sometimes if you overpower the uh, if you overpower it, the regulator, it will actually drop the wattage for you. Instead of saying check battery, it'll say uh, it'll have a little down arrow and say uh, 35 watts or 30 watts or whatever. It'll drop it to whatever it thinks it needs to be dropped to to uh, continue firing. Uh, it's not doing that here um, because whatever threshold it, it decides between check battery and uh, and that, it's, uh, you know, I don't know what that threshold is. But that's the deal. Okay. And you see on the, and you can see on the scope, it, it tries and then it, and then it fucking fails. Okay. So, we, we got it. Enough of that. Um, so you see the three clicks that takes you from voltage to wattage mode. Uh, it goes up to 40 volts. Vo <laughs> fucking, I keep saying volts. It goes up to 40 watts. It'll go down to 7 watts. Um, and the... And notice uh, RMS is 3.0, um, which is pretty close to what it is. Volts. Oh, shut up, you. I know it needs to be charged. Volt mode, it's it's still a little high, but it's pretty close. Uh, let me go back to uh, fully charged batteries. Bottom line with uh, discharged batteries is uh, your your voltage output isn't going to be as, uh, as high. Um, so, when you're at the top end anyway. Let's go back to voltage mode, let's kick it down. How far will it go? We'll go all the way down to 2 volts. So the minimum wattage in wattage mode is three, uh, 7 watts. Here it goes down to 3 watts because it, it will go down to your its minimum firing voltage. And you notice though, it says it's firing at 2 volts and it's actually firing at 2.9 volts. So uh, take that for what it's worth. Now let's actually go up to 2.9 and see where that hits. That hits a lot closer to uh, 7 watts. And notice it actually goes up to 3.4 volts. So this thing's always going to run a little high. You're going to get a little hotter vape than maybe you expect, uh, depending on if you're if you're that sensitive to uh, to power changes like that. No big deal. Um, that's fine. It's a lot more accurate than a lot of Chinese boards I've seen. So so we can we can go for that. Uh, what I want to I want to show you though is notice it's running at about 7.5 hertz. 7 hertz, depending on uh, how you set it up. And let's just take it up to 40. It doesn't run Robin, by the way, so you have to hold it down. Hold it down, hold it down to go there. Um, and it's in boost mode, and the boost mode uh, doesn't show you PWM anymore. So in buck mode, it's PWM. In boost mode, it is uh, just a rudimentary uh, boost setup. That should still be in buck. Yep. So notice it changes the duty cycle uh, somewhat. So you have big gaps between the waves at lower voltages, uh, smaller gaps between the waves at higher voltages. And that's your basic PWM setup. So it bucks using PWM, it boosts uh, using uh, a pretty standard uh, switching boost circuit. And it does both uh, adequately. It also does both um, too high as well. So we set it to 5 volts, and we're at 5.1. Um, and it's not bad. It's not crazy, 
crazy high, especially once you get out of the, the really low ranges. Obviously this thing isn't going to fire any lower than um, Notice the output's 4.2 peak to peak, so that's a 4.2 volt waveform. Um, let's see. I I don't remember offhand how this how this is going to behave. Let's see what it looks like. Oh no, I don't want to do that. Please charge up. Yep. Voltage mode. I want to kick it down. Super low. Let's see. Notice our waveform peak to peak is 3.6 volts. And now our minimum firing voltage, uh, 2.6 volts, is a little. Yeah, it's all I'm getting out of that one. Out of those, rather. So the waveform height depends on your batteries, and ultimately how far off it is at certain levels might depend on your battery level. So. Um, it's going to fire a little high or, or more, uh, depending on your setup. And this thing keeps defaulting to 40 watts, which I think was its last, let's see. Let's play with that. Put it into watts, bring it down, fire it, blah, blah, blah. Pull it. Put it back in. Hello. Yes. So it's going to remember its last wattage setting. It's going to default, even if you put it into voltage mode and change all that, it's going to default back to its last wattage setting when you put the batteries back in. So that, that could be a surprise. It could be a surprise for you. Uh, most of you aren't going to use this in uh, fucking voltage mode anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it doesn't have a menu, uh, other than being able to change it from voltage to wattage. Uh, five clicks on, five clicks off. Uh, you, you hit both your up down at the same time for a couple of seconds, and a hit, and it goes into a lock. Um, and for a couple of seconds again, and it's unlocked. Um, if you run it with a battery that is too low, we've seen some of the error states that will occur. Um, Check battery. Yep. Let's see if I can get it to, to turn itself down. Nope. Please charge. Check battery. Please charge. I'm trying to make it... I pissed it off earlier and it did this battery lock thing. It wouldn't do anything. There you go. Battery lock. Uh, it won't do anything. Um, and it'll just yell at you. Uh, where is it? It has USB charging built in right there. So um, if you're building this for a mod, you can charge it. Uh, I don't know what the, the, the charge current rate on it is. Uh, <laughs> I would assume half an amp uh, at, at best. Um, uh, you're not going to get fantastic charging rates out of this anyway. Uh, so, But it's there, uh, and you can use it. Uh, I don't really know what else uh, good to say about this thing. It's, I'd say it's worth the money. Um, honestly, I'd like to find a, uh, a supplier, either a direct Chinese uh, single quantity supplier or a U.S. supplier for these, because uh, I think this is a, a decent way to to make an easy mod. Oh, um, the switches. You're not going to. Uh, you're not going to install remote switches without uh, soldering two of the teensy weensy little pads on there. Um, so that's what you're going to have to do if you want to mount remote switches on this thing. Otherwise, it's uh, three wires. Um, I mean, four if you have a separate battery negative and a 510 negative connection, uh, and it's and it'll go. Uh, so overall, yeah, I like it. Um, questions, comments. Uh, leave them below, uh, read the fucking pinned post, and I'm out.